All right, good morning, everybody. Let's do the quick recap. Uh, today was a really, really, really nice day. A very profitable. It was my best uh, trading day so far. And so many other people, like Paris, also had the best trading day. Uh, so, you know, there was so many amazing trades that we had. So this is a trade that Paris did from NVIDIA, just long from 152 to 155. <laughs> you know, that's the trade that uh, uh, Jared did from 152 again, same on uh, NVDA, and then added and shorted up there. Uh, so it was a really, really nice trading day. For me, it was uh, uh, trading, uh, for me was uh, AMD, TQQ, and Tesla. These three was really profitable. So I still have a little bit of, uh, I sold everything. I still have a little bit of AMD left, actually. 2,000 uh, shares left on the AMD. I'll see it continue going up to 69. Uh, if you can sell everything at 69. So how was uh, trading uh, for me? So AMD had open. So the market was gapping up a little bit, especially semiconductors. That's why, you know, we have these uh, puts that we sold on them on SOXL on six and eight. And they're uh, profitable up there, uh, um, uh, the puts. So they were really sold off last year, really, really bad. So that's why when the market is showing some strength, the semiconductors are popping up a lot because they were really, really beaten up. They're really oversold. So at the open, uh, AMD, I went long for a one minute open range breakup. Again, look at it. You know, the first two minutes uh, showed some doji. I went long. It did drop, but I didn't get it stopped out because I had a fairly small share size. And I was really hoping that see what it does below this uh, moving uh, above this moving averages. As soon as the squeeze came in with volume, I added more at 66. And uh, the rest is history that, as you see, it just moved up. And I added below 68 for the break of 68 and uh, still in there going toward uh, the 69 so that was my most profitable trade on amd tesla i did three trades on that at the open again i did i did miss uh, the opening range breakout on it brian took that trade uh drop at the drop i went long and i thought that maybe it's going to come back up but unfortunately it didn't come back up and i got it stopped out uh so tesla was up four percent five percent in that time so i got it stopped out here and then I flipped my position for a short and I said, okay, if this is going to be this, this is going to be an engulfing on a five minute chart. So I went short that maybe potentially we can go to 116. It did struggle for a few minutes and then I got out completely on it at a pretty much break even. So that was uh, one loss. That was one break even. And then I saw that it squeezed up above the VWAP as was the time that market started really moving up. So I went long again at 119 heavy size on it and uh, the rest is history we went up to 123 i didn't add unfortunately on the way up uh, i should have and i didn't really get out of 123 and i got out of it completely so it's now it's just i think it's going to probably going to go to 123 so that was a really nice uh, profitable trade i made the loss back plus uh, uh, some change and then tqq was the market so i traded tqq uh at the for, for a one minute open range break up so again the market opened was very strong on the pullback i went long for one minute so that was one trade and i got stopped out of the break even so that's the one minute open range break uh, up trade and then i went back long again at the vvap i went long again on, on top of it never really lost the vvap then i got out of it i got chickened out i got out of it and then as soon as the squeeze came back up again at 18.25, I went long again. I got heavy on that. And uh, at 18.25, and I rode that uh, uh, momentum all the way up to 18.65. So essentially, five minutes of pain range break up pretty much on all of them. So that was uh, very, very decent profitable for me. Uh, Brian, how was uh, your trading? Good, good. Uh, as you mentioned, I got the uh, initial breakout on uh, Tesla. Uh, up through 120 because I said it was, you know, I kind of pretty much saw it going to go there. And then, uh, yeah, my best, uh, my best trade uh, was uh, NVIDIA. Uh, it just, it pulled back at the open and then it just uh, bottomed and started to move back up. And I, I got it on the, uh, on the breakout yeah. from the high a day, yeah. which was around one, just under 154. But, uh, you know, uh, Paris and uh, some of our other traders, Jared, got, uh, got in much earlier. Yeah, I did. Quite. I did add to it. Yeah, I did add to it um, when it did that nice little ABCD pattern, uh, or just just before ten o'clock. Just came back to one fifty seven. Add back there. Nice. So Beautiful. yeah. Awesome. So pretty happy with that trade. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. That's awesome. That, that was a really really nice trading day. I mean, if you're not really short, if you're not a stuck short on anything, so you're getting a squeeze. Which you know, if you're short, you have no business staying short above the VWAP. Anyways, in this day, 
so nobody should stay stuck short in that you know that's against every rule uh, but uh, overall turn out to be a really good day I think Nvidia is gonna hit the 160 AMD I think is gonna uh, definitely hit the 69 right now there you go here big ask on it uh, so as you see this is a big ask and the big ask are usually very bullish uh, i think uh, i think uh, definitely amd is gonna hit uh, 69 in the matter of few seconds we we'll all can watch together uh, uh, that is gonna hit um, to 69 and they filled really the gap so uh, all right uh, so we start the bootcamp, guys for those of you who are not a member uh, you know Feel free to join us. We have uh, the bootcamp uh, starting this week. Only uh, 25 people. Uh, you know, we have one spot left. Working closely with Peter and John and Eamon and <coughs> Susan and Megan. Uh, this one is pretty much like private mentorship for three months. Um, so we start today building a trade book and analyzing your trade book. Uh, Peter, uh, Peter's daughter is in. Uh, uh, hospital uh, so she's uh, she's in the ICU so if you're close to Peter guys you know it would be nice to send him a note uh, so it's a really really bad feeling obviously your young uh, daughter is in the hospital not, not only hospital is ICU so uh, perfect uh, thank you so much and uh, yeah this week is kind of a very easy week for the economic data but we have in fresh uh, inflation number CPI on Thursday which uh, is definitely very important, like just job market yet, uh, on Friday. Uh, and uh, obviously the economists are expecting the core inflation code comes down to from 6% to 5.7%. We'll see if anything uh, surprise comes in, the market definitely gets volatility. But overall until Thursday, uh, a little bit of earning, um, but uh, nothing crazy on the macroeconomic. Um, perfect guys, thank you so much. Brian, anything from you? Any YOLO trade? Any no. Nope. <laughs> no, I think, um, um, yeah, I've covered a lot of stuff in my swing trade video on the weekend, but um, yeah, big, big uh, Thursday CPI number everyone's going to be watching. And uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, and then of course, earnings season kicking off here on Friday with a lot of the big banks. So I think a lot of people anticipating what uh, the bank CEOs are saying on their read on the economy and the consumer. So will be uh, interesting later in the week for sure. Yeah, 100%. Like everybody's expecting that the earnings are going to be a disaster. Uh, like a lot of, uh, you know, <clears throat> a kind of pulse uh, survey that we're doing is that everybody's expecting a really bad earnings season. Uh, but we'll see. It also shows how resilient uh, American corporations are. This is actually very interesting to see that you know, if the earnings are good, inflation comes down and job market stays strong. That's the soft landing that essentially the feds were talking about. So the soft landing was the whole soft landing was the same. This concept that you can cool down inflation without really destroying the job market. And uh, I'll see. I'll see how the American corporations are. Uh, I personally think they're really resilient, but we'll see. Perfect. Thank you so much and have a good day, guys. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning in the chat sharp. And new members, guys, uh, we have uh, onboarding class tonight at 8 p.m. with uh, uh, Mike and Carlos. Uh, if, you, if you're if you wondering what's going on with the community and how you can use the resources, this is the one that uh, you uh, uh, join us uh, for the trial. Market is ripping higher. AMD is going to hit the 69 for sure.